Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thank you for showing up and trying out this video if you're new. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back. You're the reason why I do these. So this reading is for October 17th through November 17th and it covers, um, we're gonna do a general theme first this month and then um, your home life, your family life, your friendships, your health, your work, your money, um, your love life if you're single and then also if you're coupled. So first thing, it is a general reading. So um, the most accurate thing that you're going to get is um, a personal reading, which um, there's links on how to get those below in the description box if you're interested. If you're not, that's okay. General reading um, should hopefully help you out. But that being said, um, take the things that resonate and those that don't, leave those behind because they are for a large group of Sagittarians and it's for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Now, um, if you are wondering about your career life, you might want to look more at your rising sign, okay? Um, so you might want to watch this if it's your sun sign and then go look at your rising sign as well. If you are concerned about your love life, I would look at my moon sign for sure um, because that's tied to our emotions, okay? Now, another thing I wanna say about the videos when we're doing general readings for a whole month long is that sometimes things won't make sense right now because they have not yet happened. So if you're watching this video right when it comes out, you might wanna watch it again in a couple weeks and then see if there's any advice that you can take on how to make the best decisions to um, move your life along down the most divinely guided path you know, towards your destiny and your happiness. That's the whole point of doing these readings. That's the intention of this reading, not to um, predict the future, but more to tell you, here's what's kind of going on in your life. And if you choose to handle it this way or frame it this way, you're going to have a better outcome than the opposite, okay? So that being said, we'll just get started. So what are the messages or the general theme for Sagittarians that are sun, moon, and rising October 17th through November 17th. Humor. Oh, good. This is a good one. Everybody loves to laugh, right? And Sagittarians can be funny just because you are a fire sign, so um, you have a lot of charisma. So it says humor. I'm choosing to focus on the lighter side of life, okay? Now, we're just going to carry that on through the theme, through the reading, and we'll refer back to it as necessary when different things come up. So what's, whoa, I was about to ask, what's going on with your family life? And it doesn't seem like much this month. Um, things within your family life are pretty stable. It doesn't seem like there's much to do, much to think about, much emotional energy that you have to put into making any sort of decisions or anything like that. Is there anything else? We need to know about family this month for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Got the tower. Same thing, okay? It's really just saying um, no drama, drama-free. Everything's cool. So, you know, um, if things start to feel dramatic, make a joke about it. Take things lightly. We don't need to make mountains out of molehills, okay? What's going on in your home life, which could be your actual physical home or the people in your home, okay? Three of Cups in reverse. Now, I do want to mention, because sometimes I'll do readings where it's just like reverse card, reverse card, reverse card, and people will comment, hey, I think your deck's upside down, <laughs> which is funny, and it makes sense. I could see why you would say that. Um, but reverse cards aren't bad, um, and if I were to show you the deck here, you can see some of them are upright, some of them are not. Um, and it's just the way that you shuffle. But cards come out having different meanings. So when they're upside down, sometimes, sure, sometimes they're negative. But, for example, the Ten of Swords is actually better in reverse, just like the tower was that you had. Um, because the Ten of Swords in reverse is about healing instead of getting hurt when it's upright. So um, instead of having 78 different messages, we're doubling that. You know, it's 156 different messages than if you're reading reversals. Does that make sense? Okay, anyway. Three of Cups in reverse. So it's like not a good month to have house parties. <laughs> it's not like a good month to have um, people over. Like not people over, but like large groups of people over. So thankfully, if you're going to be hosting Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving happens after um, this reading or this time period that this reading is covering is over. Um, so what this card is saying is just like, 
with your family and your home, it's kind of just like drama free, not much to complain about, not much to brag about either, if that makes sense. Um, you might be feeling though, like you need a little bit of a change. Okay. It might feel like you want to redecorate. You want to spruce things up. Like you're not just not feeling like your home is like your most comfortable, happy place right now. Um, and, but it's more, it's not about the people within it. It's more about you're just not liking your decor. Like you're not comfortable. Like maybe it's a little bit messy. Uh, what can we do about this to change that? And it says to spend more time in it, to think about how that space can become more comfortable for you. Um, I mean, I guess one would think, hey, maybe have somebody come over and um, clean it for you or organize it for you, give you some creative ideas. But this is saying actually just spending time in the space and thinking about how it can be more functional and more beautiful is actually the way to do it. Now, there's a very specific message here, maybe to add flowers. So if you go to the grocery shop and they have those there, um, pick up some. It'll lighten up the area. It'll make you feel um, better. It'll make you feel happier in your environment. Um, and then something to do with lighting as well. So if you're to change out your light fixtures um, or buy some candles would be really great and will change the space a lot for you. We also had this guy just jump out and say, yeah, it's absolutely not about... Um, major renovations or anything like that. It's just like little changes, like little tweaks that you can do to beautify your space and kind of um, clear the energy in your home and make it more loving and, and inviting that way for you. I feel like some of you just need to clean your desk off too. Like your workspace is kind of fucked up. It's kind of messy. And that's making you feel anxious instead of being functional, right? Okay. What's going on with your friends? going on in your friendships couple things um nothing to be disappointed about or heard about this month um so i mean so far it seems like your month is kind of maybe a little bit boring right because no drama might mean boring <laughs> but no drama is good it's definitely not a bad month for you um and we have the four of pentacles in reverse saying that um this month like if friends are inviting you to do things and maybe in the past you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. That sounds kind of like a lot of money. This is not the month to, to worry about that sort of a thing. It's not the month to like really cleave, like hold tight to your, um, to your money when it comes to your friendships or um, to your material possessions. Like if somebody wants to borrow something, it's a month to be generous, to let them borrow it, um, to pick up the tab at on um, a dinner, something like that. It's a good month for generosity within your friendships. What else for friends? Oh, very cute. So um, as I was saying, you know, doing those sort of activities, being generous with your friends, um, going out and doing activities that sometimes you might not, it's going to deepen those bonds. Um, like creating lifelong friends, very deep emotional connections. Now, for some of you, I can't, this isn't for everyone, but for some of you, you will find that um, maybe some of the friendships that you have develop into a very long lasting and deep emotional love relationship. You might discover this month that your best friend is actually your best friend and soulmate. So that's kind of cool. Um, anything else with friendships? Deep emotional fulfillment. Your friends are so awesome. You really, I think it was Taurus that also had something like this, that they've just selected really great people to be around them. And um, that's you this month. Your friendships are um, just like filling your heart with joy and love. And um, this is just really wonderful. So good. So make sure that you're appreciating your friends. You know, that whole thing about being generous and, you know, picking up the tab at dinner, maybe writing a little um, note to your friends by mail, by hand, just sending it off saying, hey, thanks for always being a great friend. Love you. Because little things like that will brighten your friends' days and it'll also um, create those deeper connections and bonds like I was talking about. What's going on in regards to your health? Um, so you maybe aren't paying attention to the details of things in your health. So you might be... Um, taking vitamins but not really paying attention to are these actually the vitamins that I need. You might be saying, okay, like in general, I'm eating healthier, I'm making healthier choices, but not really le reading um, labels of things that you're eating. If it says diet on it, you're like, good enough. Um, <laughs> but again, 
with this, it's about making investments. Um, investing in your health is a good idea this month. Like, if it seems expensive to take a class, to join a gym, to um, join like a Jenny Craig or Weight Watchers, something like that, and you're like, oh, I don't know if that's something I want to spend my money on. It says this month, that's it. That's a good idea. It will pay off for you. Okay, anything else in regards to your health that we need to know this month? Um, it just seems like taking care of yourself, like exercise, diet, that sort of a thing is like so hard. Like it's more work than it's worth sometimes. Like you're like, I, this is supposed to make me feel better and it makes me feel flippant. Tired. I'm tired. <laughs> um, but, and it's like also confusing for you maybe this month, to decide where you want to apply your focus. Do you want to apply it to both things? Um, what is it that you want to do? What is your even goal? Like, you're confused. So let's try to get some more specific guidance for you. Um, so this is interesting. So some of, this is a small amount of people, like 2 to 5%. But some of you feel like your capacity to generate income is tied to your appearance. Like, maybe you're a waitress and you're like, gosh, if I were thinner, if I could wear sexier clothes or something like that because I had a body that I liked more, because I was smaller, I would make more money. Something like that. And they're saying that that is, um, you're deceiving yourself. It's an unrealistic thought or fear, okay? It says go, with, go within yourself and really think about that. Think about the thoughts that you have, the negative limiting beliefs, and try to eliminate them because um, they're blockages like per the law of attraction to actually acquiring more money. Um, what else? What else for health? Um, doing things differently than you have before. So it's... It's not, so it's saying like trying new things, okay? And it's so weird that your money is tied into your health this month. So I feel like maybe some of you have been thinking about joining a gym, joining some sort of a program, trying something that does take like a financial investment, but it's saying that that's okay. Try things that are new, you know? That's how you find out what you're going to like because we have that card of confusion. Like what is it that we like? What is it that I actually want? What are my goals? What am I after? And that's what this is saying is that you'll only know once you start trying things because you'll be able to eliminate like, oh, I didn't like that. For example, I tried kickboxing once. I'll never freaking do that again. It was so hard. Yuck. It wasn't even fun. <laughs> okay. Ten of cups. Um, this is saying like whatever it is that you truly want, like you're happily ever after. And for some of you, this is about love. Okay. Um, is coming for you. And it's weird that this is in your health, but I think this is because of your emotional health. So it's saying like, you know, we were just talking about the law of attraction. So it's like getting clear on what it is that you want for your life. What does your happily ever after look like? Okay, so that you can attract it and draw it in. So that's great. Really wonderful cards for you. Um, what's going on in regards to your work life, Sagittarius? Seven of Swords. Some of you are walking away from a job that you liked, but maybe there are things that, you know, it was just time to move on. But there's things, you know, coworkers, friends that you're leaving behind and you're a little bit sad about that. Um, and that's confusing you. It's making you second guess yourself. It's making you go, wait, is this even the right choice? Like, I'm not 100% confident in this. I don't know that this is the right thing to do. Um, well, let's see. If you do it, initially, you may not be making as much money in the next position. Um, and so there's a reason why you have these fears, why you have these doubts. Now, if you stay, what can you expect? Um, you can expect, I feel like, the best way to handle this, if you have not left but you've been thinking about it, if you've been given another offer, is to tell your employer, look, I have an offer from someone else. I'm considering taking it, even though the cards say here, I mean, this is a general reading, so maybe it's not going to be true for all of you, but for the majority of you, it's better to stay where you're at but to let them know, hey, I um, am considering taking this offer. 
they're going to give me this much money. They're going to give me this, that, whatever. Um, can you beat that? Because I don't really want to leave. And then I think that you will be granted uh, more money. They will be more generous with you. They will be willing to negotiate, you know, contracts that were before allegedly not negotiable. Uh, anything else in regards to work in case that's not applicable to all of you in the general reading? Um, there's something going on at work that you're refusing to see, look at, or believe. You just don't want to deal with it um, because it's something that you don't like. Because it's something... Um, that you just wish wasn't happening, so you're pretending like it's not. <laughs> and it, it, it does affect your um, view of yourself and, like, how you feel valued and, and things like that. Now, the challenge with that is because if you were to see that fully and really look at it for what it is, you might be tempted to walk away from your position. I feel like this is something like more on a corporate level where things are happening. People are talking about changes that are coming up and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to deal with it. Like that's not going to work with what I want. Like some people going on strike, like that sort of a thing. Um, there's a little, there's a lot of fear surrounding work for some of you, like not, not really knowing what is the right thing to do, not having like enthusiasm or excitement to stay nor to go, but kind of knowing that things are changing, like it's coming, like change is coming and it's not in your control. Um, and just really, really not knowing what to do. So we're going to come back to this humor card and say, try to focus on um, just making the best of every day bringing humor into the workplace because there's like some sort of energy there of like suspicion and fear and people are uneasy. So if you can bring that there, it'll lighten the mood and the morale for everyone. Um, there are just people around that are not being completely honest, people that are being deceptive. And I'm not sure that it's malicious. It's just more like it's not time to have secrets revealed but really, you kind of know. Anyway, you just don't want to talk about it or think about it. Um, some of you are having a difficult time, like, really going with your heart, with your um, intuition this month on this. Like I said, there's just so much confusion. Now, what's the best way to sort out the confusion? Um, trusting that things are just going to work out the way that they're supposed to that everything happens for a reason, and that um, everything will be fair and just in the end, you know? So just really try to stay optimistic and um, say that, you know, everything happens for a reason. Every ending is a new beginning. Every change, you know, um, inspires growth, that sort of a thing. Now, what's going on in regards to your money, which is sometimes linked to work, sometimes it isn't? Um, again, maybe not feeling super confident about that. And I think that is because of workplace changes. That feels very tied because we had that card one earlier, twice actually. Um, okay, so in regards to money, some of you have met your soulmates, your forever person, are taking the next steps within that relationship and combining your income. And so that's really great. Now, some of you are also buying new homes. Um, some of you are adopting children actually, or fostering them. And then that's affecting your finances right now. But it's like the way that your finances are affected, whether, um, you have more of that, more of them or less of them, because, you know, like if you're joining, um, with somebody else, it cuts your bills in half or, um, but you know, if you're adopting a child, there's a lot of expenses with a new baby, all the clothes, all the furniture. So, I mean, that's going to resonate different. But um, what it's saying is either way, it's money, like it's just happiness surrounding that situation. Like you're happy to spend the money on um, welcoming a new child. Like you're happy to um, share a bank account. <laughs> oh, interesting. It says this is not... Um, 
a good month to be spending though on travel. Why? It just isn't. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes the cards are funny. It's just not. You just won't feel comfortable with it. It buyer's remorse once you buy those cruise tickets. That kind of a thing. Whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Here's the deal. As I'm talking about purchasing vacations and things like that, group vacations. Like you might be thinking, okay, we're going to take a girl's trip. That sounds super fun. That sounds really great. I'll buy all the tickets. You guys all pay me for them later. They're not going to pay you on time. That's the deal. <laughs> and then you're going to be like, um, how am I supposed to buy that adorable new bikini for my girl's trip if you bitches aren't paying me for your tickets, right? That kind of a thing is the struggle here. Okay. What's going on in regards to your love life if you're single and you're Sagittarius? Ace of Swords in reverse. So, um... No new thoughts on the direction of where the relationship is going, but also no real heavy conversations, which is nice. You're trying to see things from the other person's perspective. You're trying to be empathetic, understand where um, you know people that you are dating are coming from, um, being very generous with people that you're meeting, that you're dating, and... Um, some of you could be meeting someone at a wedding. Others of you could be meeting this month the person that you will marry. Now, um, the interesting part about that, though, is that you might not feel initially like love at first sight, like super hyper attracted to them. They're the kind of person that you have to meet, become friends with, and then slowly fall in love with. Um they're also the kind of person that when you meet them, you might meet and kind of feel like you don't get along. You know, like they might say something to you and you'll be like, what? And feel like you need to defend yourself. And it might be kind of silly and flirty and fun, but you might also be like, I don't even like this person very much. <laughs> um, and so when you meet this person, you might feel like, oh gosh, that's hopeless. Like, that person could never be, you wouldn't, you won't even realize until later, like maybe a year from now when you're getting engaged and you'll be like, oh, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? I didn't even like you when we met. <laughs> so what I'm saying, and this is so perfect to go along with it, is that this month you might meet that person that you will end up to be with. However, you won't even realize it this month. This month, like, it's not going to stand out to you. You know, this month you'll be like, you might, this might be the month that you meet that person, but it won't become apparent to you for a little while. Like there, when you meet them, you'd be like, no way I could be with a person like that. Like you just super don't see it moving forward. You really probably don't even think that they're good enough for you, actually. Like they don't have a good enough career. They don't have enough money. Like you just don't see how that could work and you wouldn't even want it to work. <laughs> Cause you know, they just, they don't seem that appealing to you. But over time, you're going to change your mind about this. And um, the reason why is because even though it doesn't feel like this right away when you meet them, they are the kind of person who builds you up, who makes you feel like the most beautiful person in the world, like the smartest person in the world, like the most attractive and appealing person in the world. They really raise you up. They put you on a pedestal. They give you so much confidence, but not initially. Okay? Initially, it's kind of the opposite experience. And so it's just saying that this is not... Um, so if you're watching this reading and you're like, gosh, yeah, that's so exciting. I'm going to meet, like, my forever person this month. It, this card specifically is reiterating that point, saying that things don't change overnight. Okay? So it's very possible you're going to meet that person, but you won't feel it. You won't understand it. Maybe six months from now, you'll go, hey, remember when we met back in October or November and um, we hated each other? Or I didn't even like you. <laughs> okay, it's that kind of a thing. Now, what's going on for coupled Sagittarians? 
um, investment that you have put in with time or energy in your relationship is going to pay off. And um, nothing to worry about as far as what's going on in your relationship with your partner, their intentions. They may be particularly work focused. Um, and that, and so that's why I think your angels wanted to tell you, like, don't worry about it. Like, if they're not giving you enough attention, it's not because somebody else is taking their attention away. It's because they're just super focused on work. Um, so don't really worry about that. If they say they have to work late, it's because they do. Um, because they're in a financial hard spot right now. What else? Yeah, nothing dramatic, nothing chaotic. Don't go creating a mountain out of a molehill. Um, you might feel like the relationship is not going so well just because they are working so much, but they really are working. Um, and it, it says, you know, that if you can be very generous and helpful to them with your time and your energy and um, reassuring them that it's okay, that you still care about them and that you understand that that will pay off for you big time, big time. Um, because this is just a small period of time where this is going on. It says it's just it makes the relationship feel like really hard, like kind of a burden this month. Um but it's don't worry. Don't worry about it because your relationship otherwise is pretty solid. Um, it's just right now they actually have to work right now. They really do. It's either that they need the money or that they need to finish this project or something like that. Like the pressure is on them big time right now. And so just try to be understanding about that. Um, it says, because if you're not, then all of the wonderful stuff that you put into building this relationship previously was for nothing, right? Because I don't, well, before I say that, let me pull one more card. Okay, yeah. This is exactly what I was going to say. I'm thankful for that affirmation. Thanks, angels. <laughs> um, I don't think that the, that your partner is particularly the type, especially when they're stressed about work stuff, where if you're like, you know what, I'm not getting enough attention, I'm not feeling valued, I'm not feeling loved, I'm walking away from this, to come back to you later and say, okay, yeah, now that things have chilled out, let's give it another try, okay? So you just have to show them that you can be patient and supportive. So that being said, that's the end of your reading. If you'd like a personal reading, I would be honored to do that for you. My contact information is below in the description box as are links to, whoops, just kidding. Here's another card. Um, it's saying if you decide to take that attitude and just say, I'm not getting what I need and, um, you know, throwing a tantrum, you will be disappointed. You will be hurt. You will be heartbroken. So, sorry. I have to tell you the truth though. Um, so, sorry, I don't know how to turn this off. Okay, so anyway, my point is that um, links to um, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook are all in the description box below if you're interested in that. Um, and then also to a site called Patreon where there's more readings like the readings we used to do here or there, lessons on how to do um, crystal grids and learning tarot and all that stuff. If you're not interested, that's okay too. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for the daily readings. Bye.